Sup you chuckle fucks, it's your boy Dark Dark Who here with What If Issei Was Trained by a Menace, part 7. Yeah, it's a part 7. Yeah, this is part 7, this might be short because I had to go to school later but not the point. Other than that, let me begin this is What If, let me shut the fuck up and let me begin. So, we begin into mostly Issei. Who's right now kind of going to school today. But yeah, to his new school. Hmm. Sorry for burping, but I just ate like a burrito a while ago. Not the point. But not the point. So, of course, we're going to Issei kind of going to his new school. His new school is called, well... So, it's called Asasha. Pretty much, it has the statue of basically an assassin. Yeah, they were like... Issei was like, god damn. So, basically, I'm going to a school that was based on assassins. Is that what I can understand from the statue? Hmm. So interesting. This is where something was about to stab him until he grabs it with his just bare hands. It looks to be just a like coup knife. Well, it looks to be like a coup knife, and this is where he says, this. "Huh, interesting, ninja, coup knife? What the hell?" This is where well, he decides to kind of grab the coup knife because he had to deflect other coup knife and ninja starts out of the way. This is where he says, "What the? Hmm, who are you?" Or this is where well, he doesn't say, "Who are you?" He says, "Get out here already! I know you're there. You're clearly suck at aiming, also." This is where, well, the person glares at Issei and, of course, appear right in front of him. This is where, well, they have a sword actually aiming for Issei. Issei right now dodges to the right. Of course, it kind of missed him and it just cut his cheek a little bit. And this is where he grins. This is where, well, Issei jumps away from the person but didn't manage to take one of the swords behind him. Now, they have basically seven swords on them. This is where, well, she has kind of darker skin and this is where, well... She kind of has these bluish eyes with kind of brownish, well, kind of, yeah, brownish hair. This is where, well, she does have these kind of greenish eyes with kind of like blackish hair, but not the point, into a ponytail. And this is where, well, she wind her eyes after seeing one of her swords grabbed. But it was actually one of her actually special swords, because she has uh, six in total. Six swords are actually supposed to be normal, and then one that's actually special. Issei grabbed the special one. He did not care too much. He just grabbed that shit and jumped away from her. He says right now examining the sword and says, quite interesting. I wonder how much I can sell this for. This is where the person says, give it back. This is where she said in a very angry toned voice. He says, said, and why should I? Say the motherfucker who tried to assassinate me in an instant. Tell me, who are you anyway? This is where, well, the person seems to be wearing a school uniform, but it doesn't look like a school uniform. It just looks like some random school uniform kind of outfit, but yeah. This is where, well... She says, that's none of your fucking concern. Give me back the katana. No. Why would I give you back the katana? How about this? If you can kill me, I'll give it back to you. But if you can't, you're gonna die. This is where Oshi glares at Osi Ise and rushes at Ise. Right now, pulling out all six of her katanas and right now holding them into each of her fingers and looking like claws. Ise says, hmm, quite interesting. I've never seen someone who actually uses six swords, so... But well, that's a quite an interesting way to use it. Whatever. This is where Issei right now tosses the sword up in the air, grab it with his hand, and of course he says, quite interesting, but who cares? Issei right now rushes straight towards well, mostly the person. This is where the person winds their eyes after seeing the blinding speed of Issei is not even using magic or anything. And this is where, well, she has to dodge a slash that was actually aimed for her head. This is where, well, she just wind her eyes. The speed, power, and the swing of that attack was all just incredible. This is where she has to jump away and right now send her kind of katanas right now straight towards Issei. Like she threw them, all of them, knowing that it's damn well that it won't actually probably hurt him. One of the katanas actually managed to scratch Issei because Issei was kind of shocked that she would actually throw her weapons. But this is where, well, Issei, since he's still kind of inexperienced in battling because he fought against not that many ninjas in his lifetime because he only fought against Toji. And Toji will throw shit at you, but it won't be like... Don't shit at you. He'll pull out a gun and start shooting you. This is where, well, Issei managed to dodge some of the katanas. One of them managed to scratch his leg and, of course, cut his, like, jeans and say, oh, for fuck's sake. Or not jeans. It's mostly, like, these, huh, what's it called? Black kind of, like, sweatpants. And this where say, oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. I'm going to have to buy more clothes tomorrow. Oh, whatever. This is where Issei jumps uh, away from, we'll see the girl right now sending multiple attacks right towards Issei. Being, what's it called? 
Literally, she sends most of the kunas and was it called shirkets, but they turn into fire. Her hair is starting to go into an orange color. This is where Issei notices, and this is where Issei says, Okay, this is annoying. Issei pulls out the, well, mostly he still has a katana, and right now he didn't notice this, but he accidentally ignited it right now with fire. This is where it turned into a crimson red flames, and this is where, well, Issei says, Okay, don't know how I did that, but who cares? This is where Dietrich right now in his head says, I help you, idiot. Now cut that bitch down. Issei says, what the fuck, Dietrich? Oh, whatever. Issei right now cuts through the, uh, mostly kunas and shurikens. And this is where we're making the girl wind her eyes after seeing her sword right now goes into a crimson flames. Issei says, surprise, bitch. This is where Issei launches up and right now has a sword about to aim for her. Until someone actually managed to kind of stop him by actually, well, clashing with his own weapon. This is where it's like an umbrella somewhat. Or not an umbrella, it's like a cane. This is where Issei says, what the? This is where, well, the person has kind of this whitish hair. With greenish rim glasses and what? This is where, well, he also kind of has, well, yeah, he kind of has these goldenish eyes and of course does have a cane and just block Issei's sword. What the? Issei says, what the? This is where, well, uh, this person says, hmm, quite interesting you are. Quite a talented student you are also. This is where, well, mostly Issei before I understand what happened. Issei gets hit in the stomach. Right now, letting go of the katana because he wasn't holding that too tight. And this is where, well, he was like, ugh. This is where the sword right now turned back into an orangey color. And of course, when the flames did disappear, and of course the girl might actually grab and says, Also, Pin, what are you doing here? This is where Issei smashes down to the ground. Lots of students were actually kind of coming around because, well, they did hear about the new student coming to school. Of course, the school is actually called Assassinational, but it's also called mostly Beacon sometimes. But this is where, well, mostly uh, the girl kind of asks mostly the somewhat, well, the, uh, well, principal of the school. Also, Pen says, ah, Hamara, I see you were the one to actually try to test out the student. He is a second year like you. This is where, well, she said, yeah, really? I thought he was a first year. He looked like an amateur when he was dodging my attacks. Really? An amateur? I mean, he managed to dodge almost all your attacks. This is where, well, we'll see. She scoffed and said, ah, screw that. He's nothing, he's no better than me. Hm. So you're saying he's kind of better than you. No, he's not. No, 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 no. This is where, well, other people are chuckling until this is where he said, kind of burst the, uh, out of the smoke and say, ah, that is annoying. This is where kind of like a snow is actually around him. And this is where he said, grins and says, it seems whoever there attack me is actually quite annoying and want to die, isn't they? Isn't that right? This is where oh, he says, Seth. This is where, oh, oh, pen kind of says, huh, quite interesting. I thought that attack would have knocked you out. Yeah, right. This is where Issei right now tells the snow to kind of pull out a weapon. And it's basically the soul splitter is kind of, is the actual uh, soul uh, splitter that Toji uses most of the time. This is where, oh, he pulls it out and says, let's see who's stronger then. Issei has a Marco kind of grin on his face. But before doing that, this is where he gets a call and this is where he says, what the? He puts the sword back and right now kind of grabs the phone. He sees it's none other from Jin and this is where Issei says, yeah, hello. Jin says, okay, I have another mission for you. Uh, you're not in school, are you? I'm in my new school, but what the hell are you calling me for? Jin says, uh, for another assassin mission. Really? Damn. And I was about to kill the goddamn principal here. What school are you even at? Wait, what do you mean your new principal? I'm at a new school. Uh, can you search up the school website? It's called Assassinational. At the same time, I think it's called also Beacon or something like that. Is where, well, Jen says, why the fuck are you at a hunter slash assassin school? Wait, what? Is that really what I'm at? I thought this was a public school. I mean, entirely it is a public school. It is kind of preparing you to go into either assassin jobs or assassin college or something like that. Ninja college or hunter college. It's something weird about it. I don't care. It is a public school. Sometimes people doesn't really know about it. People just think it's public. They don't really care about it too much. But yeah. So it's not a private school like my old school where I had to pay. No, you don't really have to pay. Issa says, what the fuck? Why are people attacking me? Do they know about your reputation? I only killed like three people that were pretty much only like a $500 and $1,000. And then one guy whose name sells are free that fucking murder his ass. That could be the reason. There's no other person that saw my face except for you and Toji. Well, your last name isn't Toji Fujigoro, right? They keep forgetting I didn't put your last name into that. I just put 
Issei at that point. Oh, thank goodness you did not put Fujigoro. Oh, fucking goodness, because that would be odd if I would literally call Issei to Fujigoro. Whatever. Kid was still, um... You did call me and you sent me a weird text saying that you're going to buy mostly, uh, what's it called? Megami Fujigoro off of Toji. Why would you want a son? Hey, fuck you. He's my little brother now. <clears throat> not the point. You gonna help me or not? <sighs> fuck it. I guess I'll go help him. I hope the goddamn kid that basically Toji forgot about existence. He just even exists in the first place. Yeah, I know that. Fucking Toji doesn't remember shit about that. Oh, so annoying. Whatever. Let's see where well, we'll see Jen says. Other than that, you're gonna take the mission? After goddamn school, is that mission going to still be available? Yeah, the mission's pretty much just assassinate someone. It, it gave you a 24 kind of like whole countdown. Really? 24 or what? Hours. Good. Because I'm gonna fucking get out of here like eight hours to go over there. So where will it be? It would be in Kyoko. Kyoko? Are you fucking serious? Kyoko? Who the fuck put it in Kyoko? Somewhere there, okay? I mean, uh, wait, 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 wait. There's another mission. Is to go back at. Oh, that's interesting. What's that? This one that doesn't actually want you to kill the person. It's a bring it alive. They will pay you $20,000. It's just it's interesting. But what do you mean bring back alive? It's just this guy named uh, Nagi? Something like that. Pretty much it's, they got you a picture and other things, and pretty much you gotta bring back alive and bring it to someone. Why do I feel like that person, whoever brought. Wait, is Nagi someone important? No, he just looks like a normal goddamn high schooler. He basically looks around your age, but way too smaller. So he's like a midget, and I can easily kick him right in the stomach and knock him out. Pretty much it says knock him out and bring without harm or die. What the? <laughs> Bitch, I am going to just kill him. I mean, I mean, it doesn't say that. It says either bring back alive, and then there's the thing that says, or dead. I think they forgot about getting rid of that part. I'll kill that son of a bitch later. I'm gonna bring them happily brought back alive. Probably have two bullets in the kneecaps and done. I mean, they never said anything not having it almost close to death. Exactly. I'm gonna bring them half alive. I don't care who the hell it is. Bring it. Who the ever the hell it is trying to kill me? They're gonna have to f fucking fight me first. Well, first pay me before I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> Well, whatever. Other than that, those are the two missions. I'll be sending that in your Gmail so you can deal with that. Other than that, uh, Toji for to go out, call him about his son and other shit like that. Good. I guess I'm gonna fucking buy him off. I would have steal them, but I know Toji's going to use um, right now Megami for something random. I know he's that desperate to get out of something. I forgot what was it. He's trying to get out of his like kind of clan family. Family problems and other things. I see. I'll deal with that later. This is where... Well, we'll see. Jin says, other than that, see you, kid. This is where... Well, he says, yeah, good luck, Jin. With Toji and his nagging stuff or whatever. Oh, yep, and speaking of Toji, he's calling me right now. Ah, <sighs> Okay, we'll see you. Toji said, yeah, see you. This is where... Well, he says, other than that, he said, click his phone, uh, turn off. And this is where... Well, he turns around to see... I was pinned right next to him, saying, so, it seems you're already an assassin. Didn't know an assassin would be in this school already. Someone as young and talented like you to be already an assassin. <laughs> I don't even know why we went to the school. He says, uh, did you just fucking stalk me in my fucking car? Hmm, yeah. I know you do the assassination kind of mission to legal way, but still. Didn't know someone like you would be here. And to... Kind of talk about Toji Fujigoro, not gonna lie. He is quite a great assassin. Quite talented in killing people. But at the same time, he's lazy and sloppy sometimes. Well, not sloppy enough that people can track him down to put him as a suspect. But yeah. But still, he's quite one of the greatest. And to think that you were actually trained by him makes it much more interesting. He says, yeah, whatever, old man. Either you die now because you fucking hit me in my stomach, which, fuck you, by the way. Don't know who the hell you are exactly. The name's Ospen. Before you pull out your weapon and try to kill me, I actually want to know, 
Why did you join the school? Hmm? Oh, no, I just asked my parents to just, like, put me somewhere random. I didn't really care which school it was. It would have just been random. I don't care. Besides, this place literally took me a while to actually get here. My old school, I went to Kuo Academy, but I hated that school entirely. But, yeah. So, I decided to just tell my parents just to switch me, switch me to some public school. And, pretty much, I can now wear mostly no way a fucking suit or any of that shit. Luckily, I could just wear whatever. But, of course, I did not know the school was actually full of assassins and other hunters. And, yeah, I just, I just kind of call my assassination partner bu uh, business. And he talked about this place being... Full of assass- well, training assassins, training ninjas, and- well, training ninjas slash shinobis, but whatever. Slash kind of hunters, and I guess, samurais. Am I right? This is where almost see- Oh, the says, yes, you are right. But I'm quite curious. If that's what you're just here for, just to kind of go into a public school and not be bothered by anything. Tell me, how quite talented are you when assassinating people? Uh... Shit. I only been able to get three missions. Three missions and some random guy that I had to kill a while ago. But not the point. That's where Allspin says. And who the hell did he have to kill that wasn't a part of your mission? Some guy named Siegfried? Or no. No, just Freed. Freed. I think that's his name. There's a white haired guy with kind of like these golden eyes. He's always crazy. And he was a priestess. An ex priestess. Or an ex exorcist. But not the point. That's where, well, Oldspin widened his eyes and says, I see, so you kill that crazy priestess. Quite interesting. I'm guessing that you got paid a lot of money for the fact that you killed him. Oh, yes, I did get paid a lot, but not the point. <sighs> Other than that, if you don't mind me, I'm going to the public school over there, and I'm going to be chilling. This is where, well, mostly the worm goes back into a ball, and this is where, well, Issei kind of goes into his mouth just to hide it, but yeah. This is where, oh, Issa says, well, other than that, bye. This is where Issa starts walking away, but yeah. This is where Ospin says, before you go, he puts the kind of cane right in front of uh, Issa, mostly to the side of him, but yeah. And says, before you go, are you sure you don't actually want to be an assassin? Well, clearly, you are an assassin, but wouldn't it be more interesting if you would have went to assassination classrooms or, well, or hunter classrooms? Doesn't really matter. He says switch ups and says, you really think I'm an assassin? Well, yes, I am an assassin. I am also considered to be a hunter sometimes, but not the point. You really think I would go to some kind of place just to learn how to kill people? I already do that on a daily basis. I don't really need anyone to train me about that. That's where, well, mostly Ospin nodded and says, well, just change your mind anytime soon. He says, yeah, 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 yeah. He says, grabs a rock from the ground. Tosses it straight towards the girl with, uh, her name is Hammer. And this is where Hammer is right now kind of wrapping her kind of like, mostly the, mostly kind of like, sword tighter. So mostly next time it won't be able to be grabbed too easily. Until a rock smashes into this little button, or mostly this little, uh, tying position or whatever. And this is where it just rips through it. And this is where it kind of just makes all her katana fall down the ground. She looks up and glares at Issei and Nancy with a murderous, uh, fiery glare. Issei kind of flips her off and didn't care too much. He just walks away, having this, like, goofy grin. <laughs> he had this, like, sinister smile on his face, but yeah. This is where making her just piss at him. This is where he, she says, you mother! This is where, well, Issei walks away and says, weakling. This is where, oh, mostly she was pissed. This is where she went to grab her stuff again. And she just glares at that bastard. She'll get her fucking revenge against him later, but not the point. But yeah. But this is what well, we go into right now, Issei, well, going to his new classroom. Just a public school looking all normal. Yeah. No way needing to deal with devils. No way needing to deal with anything. But this is where, well, Issei falls asleep in his classroom. Which, when the teacher asks him to answer this question, Issei just gives him a random ass answer that's actually quite correct. And this where the person says, okay, well, you can go back to sleep, whatever. We go into East Saint mostly kind of doing this half ass throughout the day. And of course it worked well. He just doesn't care. It's what well. Before he kind of gets out of well mostly his six hour class, someone did have to kind of like poke them in the head to actually wake them up. Issei opens his eyes and glares at the person. The person has these like reddish kind of hair color. It's like a reddish orangey kind of color. Well it's like lightish red color, but yeah. 
So she kind of looked like this, which it was all long, a longish, reddish, pinkish hair. With reddish eyes, she did kind of look like an elf a little bit. Yeah, not the point. But of course, it's where, well, she poke him in the head and says, hey, sleepy hair, wake up. He says, hey, what? He kind of glares at the girl, reminding him of Rias, which he gets annoyed with Rias a lot. But luckily, her eyes are red, so pff, whatever. He says, hey, what do you want, red hair? This is where, well, she says, I have a name, you know. I was right next to you, but either way. How do you forget my name? And so where Issa thinks about it and says, uh, it's Fyria. No. Is it Fyria? Fire. 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 This is where, oh, she says, it's Fyria. God damn it. And he says, hey, fine. Sheesh, kid. This is where she says, I'm not a kid. I'm the same age as you, jerk. He says, yeah, 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 yeah. What do you want? I want to know, mm-hmm, are you an assassin? He says, says, assassin? No. Are you sure about that? Of course I am. What do you think I am, an assassin? Why would I be an assassin? I go to a normal public school. Nothing special about that. She scoffs and says, yeah, you can stop fucking playing around about that shit. He said, kind of smiles and says, well, at least I tried. Other than that... Issa gets up and stretches and says, Bye, I'm going to my next class. This is where she follows along and says, Why are you following me? Well, clearly we have the next classroom together. Wait, what? That's where he noticed the paper is gone and says, Ugh. That's where she says, Here. You say, Grass and says, Thanks, I guess. That's where, oh, she then says, You don't seem very happy being in this place. Could it be that you'd rather go to the assassin classrooms? Issa says, Nope, don't care about it neither. That's where Oshi sighs and says, hmm. From seeing you in the morning fighting against Hamara, you were pretty good at fighting. Pretty good. Even using a sword to be able to go into Crimson Flames. Which she is completely confused about how to use them into Crimson Flames. I can use kind of Crimson Flames, but they're like a pinkish fire color. But that's not the point. Tell me, well, who are you exactly? Issa says, Issa Hyoto. Shut the hell up already. This is where Issa is trying to hear earbuds into mostly his ear until she managed to stop him from actually hearing music because Issa was about to pull his phone and just hear music. This is where she says, Okay, tell me for real. Who exactly are you? Issa Hyoto. Stop pissing me off already. God. What do you want me to tell you? I'm basically trained by Toji Fujigoro just to become one of the greatest assassins ever? Sure, let's go with that. Other than that, I don't care. That's where she went in eyes and said, Toji Fujigoro? He's quite dangerous. How did you make how did you manage to get him to train you? Act weak, pathetic, and idiotic, and then done. He will take probably pity on you. Other than that, I don't care too much. I am trying to just go to goddamn sleep next hour. So yeah. Next hour is robotics. Uh fucking hell. Whatever. This is where, well, mostly they go into robotics, and this is where they sit down. Of course, where, well, she decided to bring him to mostly a table with another girl who was just sitting there, and this is where she looks up and looks confused and didn't really care too much. So this is what the other person looks like, but yeah, her name is kind of W, but not the point. But this is where, well, she has kind of this interesting grin on her face and says, So, aren't you the uh, top assassin that just arrived here? This is where, well, she questioned Issa, and Issa says, yeah, he fell asleep. This is where, well, he didn't, well, not he, this is where, well, she didn't look up to see Fyria and says, so what is he doing here? Why is he going to a normal class? Why are you going to a normal class? I don't really want to deal with teachers over there. They're always managing to catch me. So I can't really do an explosive for any of that. Here in these public schools, at least I can. That's where Fyria scoff and says, well, you're always so violent. Go first to violence and other things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is where, well, mostly they kind of keep talking, rambling. But we go into Issei after school because, well, yeah, we go into a time skip after school. After that whole mess. But, yeah, it almost completely almost went into a fiery mess. Because, well, both of the girls are getting angry at each other. But, yeah. But not the point. Issei is getting ready to get towards mostly his job. He kind of spit out his, like, what warm thing in this work well he's getting ready to just kind of go to get his job and ready done but of course before he does that that's where someone tries to attack him that's where he pulls out the soul splitter and blocks it it's none other than back than hamara hamara says hmm seems like you're not getting rusty anytime soon 
He used to scoff and say, God, when are you ever going to fuck off, you bitch? This is where she glares at him while he glares at her. But right now, I'm going to leave it off here for only part uh, seven because I got to be going. Other than that, bye soon. Yeah, it's a part seven. Wait. Yeah, part seven. Other than that, bye soon. Yeah, bye.